What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Scott Free, and this is The Sounds of Sunday. And yes, thank you for tuning in this on this June 14th Sunday afternoon show. I am your host, Scott Free. This is The Sound of Sunday, your radio host and music producer right here on The Sound of Sunday. Thank you for tuning in. Coming up is my R&B music mix. I have some exciting music uh, from some new artists today that I'm going to feature on my show today. Okay, stay tuned. I'll be right back. Thank you. 
And yes, coming back, that was a nice little cut called Everglow by Patrick Patricius, right here on the Sound of Sunday. And before that, you heard one by Slink and Mr. Um, Stabilina with The Jam. And on this, uh, before that, you heard Text Me Records on this extended R&B music mix with Bird Funk. And kicking off this R&B music today was one by Otis McDonald, entitled In Case You Forgot, right here on the Sound of Sunday. Thank you for tuning in this afternoon on this June 14th Sunday afternoon show. I am host Scott Free, and actually, I wanted to <clears throat> just, uh, just actually put some music up, um, some artists, like I said, I have some new artists that are my feature today. Um, uh, one is actually 
um, on my Smooth Jazz Mix, you're going to hear one by DJ Freedom. Um, and later on today, you're going to hear one by uh, Kevin McCloy. Um, I usually play him sometime, but I haven't played him in a while. And a new um, artist um, that I'm going to feature today um, by the Mini Vandals featuring Mamandos, Koita, and Guess. Okay? Right here on the sound of set. That's going to be on the uh, international music mix today. Um, with some reggae flavor and some um, calypso music. Um, so, uh, again, thank you for tuning in this afternoon. Um, actually, in the news, um, actually, we've actually still having some more problems. Okay, uh, Palmdale, California, um, found a you know found a young man that was actually lynched um, away, from basically close to the uh, city hall. So now that's actually under investigation. I'm not sure, like I said, I'm not sure what's going on here, but um, things are getting things getting wild. So you gotta gotta prepare, and get yourself ready. Um, <clears throat> like I said last in my last show, you, um, you guys gotta actually stand up and um, use your second amendment second amendment rights. Because I'm not sure, like I said, I'm not sure what's going on here, but you gotta protect yourself. If you go anywhere by yourself, try not to go anywhere by yourself, folks. Try to go with a um, with a friend or witness or something like that. I'm not saying you have to be um, strapped. Um, just be ready, you know. Be ready. Keep your head on the swivel. Okay. Um, coming up is my smooth jazz music mix. Kicking off this one, you're gonna hear one by the whole other entitled Night Driver, right here on the Sounds of Sunday. Right back.
back. That was a nice little cut by DJ Freedom entitled Body and Attitude. One before that, you heard Unavailable by Cosmic. Okay. And back to back, another one by Cosmic entitled The High Line. And like I said, kicking off the smooth jazz music mix was one by the whole other with Night Driver right here on the Sound of Sunday. Thank you for tuning in this afternoon. I am your host, um, host and MC producer, Scott Free. Um, I'm just hoping you all have a safe, <coughs> safe weekend out there. Um, down here, um, seems like everything is opening back up. So actually, I was going to try to um, broadcast from the park today um, with my um, with my drone that I actually have. So you guys some video pictures high above the sky, but I wasn't able to do that right now. I'm still working on. Uh, getting my drone, um, getting acclimated to my drone, okay, but I'm going to actually get you some aerial uh, footage uh, in a couple weeks since I get, get the drone down and uh, have you some good video, okay, um, like I said, in the news, like I said, um, what what's going to fix this country, okay, is going to have to be reparations, all right, we've actually, our people have actually gone through enough, and we're tired of it. And what can I say? Um, we, we're overdue as far as, you know, getting our reparations, reparative um, justice. Uh, reparations is only, the only thing that we can do. Uh, shout out to my uh, one of my content creators, Afro Synergy, um, Brother T. West, and all the, also um, my other content creators out there. Um, we got to, you know, we got to stay, stay, you know, stay abreast and stay, you know, stay ahead of this. Okay. Like I said, I'm not sure what's going on, but it seemed like a lot of stuff is happening in the news now. Okay. With this young brother in Palmdale, California, um, this, that was found lynched hanging in a tree. And the first thing that, the first thing that got dag on state was actually saying that the, the young brother committed suicide. You know what? I have a, basically, you all need to, you basically, you need to stop it. Okay, I'm, I'm getting sick and tired of these <coughs> corners. As soon as actually they found a, a black man, black young man, hanging from a tree, the first thing they want to do is is actually state that it's suicide. Excuse my language, but it's bullshit. Okay, we are black people. We are black men. We don't we don't we don't do that. Okay, I'm, I'm not sure what's going on with this, but you you actually you're sparking more you're sparking more outrage and anger. Then you are doing a service to the to the public and to the community. Okay, so you need to basically you need to get out of that playbook where you actually are basically promoting an investigation, a preliminary investigation. You don't even know what it is yet, but yet you want to get out there and spew this spew this thing about suicide, attempted suicide. You all need to really stop because you're actually going to add, add more fuel to the fire. Okay, I'm, I'm here to tell you because I'm sick and tired of hearing this. Every time they find a black, black young man or whatever, hanging from a goddamn tree, okay. We we our community, our our culture don't do that, okay. So you need to find out basically what it is. Independent autopsy, toxicology report need to come out, okay. If you guys um, basically want, <clears throat> you know, <sighs> I'm almost beside myself, okay. I'm, I'm, like I said. I've served this country, okay, with full devotion and honor, and I get back here, and this is the type, this type of stuff that I actually I'm hearing from different agencies, okay. <sighs> Stop it, all right. Like I said, um, the basically only thing that's going to fix this nation right now, because it's under, basically we're we're actually at a point where we're almost at a civil war, okay. If I'm not mistaken, it's my opinion. Okay, and it's going to turn into anarchy pretty soon, in my opinion, because we have all of these reports coming out, and as I'm not sure what kind of playbook that you know the agencies are working from, but doing this kind of stuff, you're only adding fuel to the fire. Okay, so uh, like I said, reparations. Okay, we we need we need to we need to be we need to actually get what's due to us. Okay, for years. Everybody else seems to be getting their reparations, getting their, you know, get, and there's some people still get, some groups are still getting it, but yet you want to fight us. 
okay? You want to fight us every day to tell us that we, we don't deserve it, okay? We we are actually, our Masa ancestors in this country built this, built this country, okay? You need to stop with the bullshit. Pay the reparations, all right? Like a, Mr. Uh, Bob Johnson said, you know, 14, 14 billion, I mean, 14 trillion, that's a good start, all right? We haven't got land, we haven't got livestock, nothing. Not land, mule, nothing. Okay, now is the time to pay up. Okay, this point, this country is paying everybody except for us. And we have, we built this country, okay? Just my opinion, all right? So I'll come up as my last music mix of the day is my international music mix. Kicking off this one, you're gonna hear Earthbound by Slink right here on the South of Sunday. I'm your Scott Free. I'll be right back. <laughs> Thank you. 
And yes, that was a nice little cut by the Mini Vandals featuring Mamandu, uh, Koyeta, Koyeta, and guests with Kobe Natoma, Natoma, Natoma. Okay. Right before that, you heard one by J.R. Tundra with Natty Roaster. Nice little cut. Before that was Mandeville by Kevin McCloy. Nice little cut. And like I said, kicking off, this one was Earthbound by Slink, right here on the Silent Sunday. Thank you for tuning in this afternoon. I am your host, Scott Free, and I'm hoping you had a nice afternoon with me. Listen to some good music and some, you know, some news, you know, some stuff, in the, basically things in the news, okay? I'm a little frustrated today because actually you know, this report of this young man being hung, up, being hung in a tree, and the first thing that actually they wanted to say was that it was a basic suicide. Like I said, you all need to get out of that playbook because you're adding fuel to the fire. Okay? So already fuel to the fire. But yet you want to actually, you know, right now people are protesting in Palmdale, uh, California, <laughs> and other places uh, basically because we just had another shooting in Atlanta. Okay? Um, that investigation going on where another man was running away and got shot. Okay? By PD. Okay? I'm not sure what's going on. But, um, you know, I, I also want to say, say one thing. I'm not sure what's going on here, but when you have PD officers out there that's actually telling their own people, okay, Caucasian people, how to avoid the curfew, but yet you're not telling anybody else, you're not telling black folks how to avoid the curfew, what are you trying to, what, try, what kind of message are you sending, okay? You want to keep them safe, but yet you want to arrest, arrest our, our people. Okay, this is this basically these people, you know, whoever it is, they need y'all, you know, need to be investigated also. Okay, because this is basically, you know, this is basically uh, under undercover shit. All right, and it should not happen. Everybody deserves to actually, if you're going to actually tell some people how to avoid curfew, you need to tell everybody. Okay, because what it is, it just sounds like it's, it's basically just setting up to arrest certain people, certain, certain color. I mean, certain pe uh, people of a different, different color. I mean, that different culture, but as you want to safeguard your own. Okay. This is bullshit in my opinion. All right. I'm getting sick and tired of it. I'm getting really sick and tired of this. Okay. Like I said, for my people, you need to basically, if you can try to avoid going anywhere by yourself. All right. Especially out in these, in these, these areas. Because it seems like people are gunning for you. In my opinion. Okay? It's just in my opinion. Keep your head on the swivel. If you can, try to get licensed. Try to get trained on your Second Amendment. Okay? Because this is not, basically, it's not going to get better. It sounds like it's basically what's going on right now. It sounds like it's getting worse. Okay? And you got to be careful out there. Again, I am your host, Scott Free. Thank you for tuning in this afternoon on this June 14th, Sunday. Right here on the South Sunday. Later. Huh?